Everybody to Striker with Benj, Justin, and Alex. Winners, Best Musical Theater Album for Dear Evan Hansen. Congratulations. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you very thank much. Thank you, thank you. Benj, I go to you first. I mean, we are so close to Broadway. The Grammys, for the first time in many years, are here in New York City. It's got to be a little more special, I would think. It is really cool that our show is playing just up the street, and then we get to celebrate this with our whole cast. They're just finishing a matinee performance right now, so I think they're going to come down and find out that they're all Grammy winners at the end of it, which is a very, very cool thing, and to have it be in New York and to celebrate that energy, which Broadway is so vital in, it's, it's a very exciting thing for us. And how does it work for you guys when you create the music? Do you read script first? Do you see a rehearsal? How does that go down? Yeah, so you know, um, the, the the songs are created along with the rest of the show, so we really work in tandem with our book writer, Stephen Levinson, on this project. Um, we developed uh, these characters and the storyline all together. Then Michael Greif, our director, we sit in a room for a long time and come up with it all together. Then we bring in our music team, Alex Lacamoire and the rest of them. It's an amazing sort of journey where you keep picking up more incredible, wonderful people all along the way as you create the show from scratch uh, and then get it up workshopped up on its feet and finally, uh, eventually, thankfully, to Broadway. And Alex, I have to think with all these creative people in a room, there has to be some screaming at each other. Oh, you know what? I have to say it really isn't. Really? I mean, but there's moments of, of tension, of course. He's not the screamer. There's some yeah, of us are. Not, not, not at all. But I, what I love about that is that we all strive for excellence. I think that all comes from whenever there's tension, it's because people believing that our idea is uh, the one that needs to be, and then you talk it through, and then you figure out, you know what, you're right, that this other idea is better. So I think that's kind of dialogue is actually healthy, because then you actually end up with a product that makes everybody happy, that is ultimately the best that it could have been, were it not for the people next to you in the room. So it's actually, I, I live for that kind of collaboration. Nice. And last thing here, a social anxiety, I think maybe the theme, but maybe in a couple sentences for people who have not seen Dear Evan Hansen, the plot is what? Oh, that's a that's a tough one. Go. Oh, it's, it's about a young man who feels incredibly isolated and alone in his world, and through a series of events, he is believed to have been the best friend of a kid who, uh, who just passed away, and uh, he basically... Uh, sort of plays into to help a grieving family uh, uh, make them think that he was actually best friends with their son who uh, has recently been deceased and his whole life changes as a result and the question is whether or not he should come clean and, and how his, his life changes uh, because of, of this lie, you know, predicated on this lie and uh, come and see the show and find out what happens. Nice. And let me just say this last thing. Not only can they compose music, but they're great on camera. I feel terrible <laughs> about myself right now. Dear Evan Hansen, these dudes are Grammy winners. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Thanks for having Thank us. You. Thank, Thank you. you. What's up, y'all? This is B.O.B. This is G-Eazy. I'm Mo. This is Julia Michaels. This is Logic. Make sure you subscribe to the Recording Academy channel. Flex.